Hello, welcome to the day 2 of the challenge. Yesterday on day 1, my topic was blouse and this was the artwork I did. The reason behind it is all explained in the last video. I hope you guys liked it. If you haven't checked it out, you can. The link is in the description. And the second day, that is today's theme, let me see what I get. Columbia, an interesting topic. So I'll think about it and what I can come up with for this country and let's go. Colombia is a country in South America. It is a fascinating and beautiful country with a rich mixture of cultures. Bogota is the capital and the largest city of Colombia. Colombia is one of the most ethnically and linguistically diverse countries in the world with its rich cultural heritage reflecting influences by various civilizations, settlements and immigrations. The influence of these cultures is apparent in the country's food, music, art, architecture and literature. For my art today, I am using brush pen and acrylic paints. Colombia is a land of festivals. Medellin, the orchid capital, has its own flower festival and Caribbean Barranquilla goes wild with parades and parties at carnival time. These carnivals and fiestas during the festivals of Colombia are to celebrate its heritage and culture. While I was going through the pictures of such events, the beautiful colourful dresses of women caught my attention. Typically these dresses had ruffled white blouse with colourful laces made from satin like fabrics and matched with a white blended skirt with similar ruffles and colours. This is matched with a gracefully flowy skirt and is a brilliant display during dance carnivals and parades. This attire is often paired with colourful floral decorations. As you can see in my sketch here, one example is placing such colourful flowers in their hair. In conclusion, this was the inspiration for today's art. Also, the colours I have used for the dress in my sketch, that is yellow, blue and red, are the colours of Colombian flag. Colombia is now a vibrant country quickly breaking free from its darker days by maintaining its cultural richness. One such cultural aspect I was further fascinated by is the street art especially on the streets of Bogota. The capital's graffiti artists have done a tremendous job in making it a cultural expression of the people and the country. While many countries consider street art as vandalism, Colombia has now embraced it as the artistic expression of its people. Graffiti was not always allowed in Bogota. I came across this fact that police chased down and killed a 16-year-old artist when he was spray painting on a wall. The police then tried to cover it up, accusing him of being an armed robber. But his parents and the city's street art community were having none of it. There were protests throughout the city and two officers were eventually arrested. This was the turning point. Today, Bogota is one of the most street art friendly cities on earth, with walls as high as seven stories on major streets being used as canvases. And this change has become so much so that police now protect the rights of artists. The city supports street art culture through incentives and city sponsored projects. This whole thing about graffiti and street art inspired me further to paint a wall in my art. This one element felt essential to me. I am genuinely impressed and further inspired by acknowledging the interest and love Colombians have towards art and expression. The freedom to create and express is the basic right of an artist the ultimate form of self-expression. With this inspiration in my mind, I decided to do something different for the wall. Instead of simply painting it on, I used a small rectangular bit from one of my old yoga mats 
and I have applied paint on it and I am printing it on my canvas in a proper pattern. As you can see, the variations in the pressure applied gives that realistic texture of the brick. Please do let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So with this last print, the art is ready. I hope you guys like this artwork and if you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Please share it with the ones who would be interested to know more about the country and also art. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, adios.